here at the Rhodes House, which looks like it's gonna be an epic 4th of July celebration. We're at the lake by their house, swimming, a bunch of good friends. It's just a pleasure to be out here today, celebrating with all these folks and with you as well. Chicken fight. All right, back, Rebecca, count your blessings. Running out to help Justin with some afternoon or early evening chores, I guess. The hay is not carbonish enough. Car carbonous Carbonates. enough. Carbonaceous enough. Is that enough of a carbon vapor? No, it's not. Arthur, I haven't had to feed these pigs maybe four pounds of grain. Are you serious? I've just been feeding the manure and milk and veggie scraps and kitchen scraps. What do they have to say about that? And they love it. Well, wait, you'll just see. You, you'll just see what they have to say about it. Fat hogs. <laughs> one cow can provide one pig. That's the same. Shall we take them on a walk? Take the pigs on a walk? Yeah. Yeah. Would that be fun? You did? You took your chicken from our walk? Being out here and close to the house, it's been so fun. You know, you're out in the garden, you hear them talking, you throw them some produce, you come in here, you throw in some wood chips. It's just satisfying. It's just kind of fun fiddling with this. I could see a guy working nine to five, really enjoying this. Go out in the morning, 10, 15 minutes, throw some wood chips in, give them some food scraps, see what they like, don't like. Right? Yeah. And it doesn't smell, so the neighbors wouldn't know. They wouldn't even know. <laughs> Picks have perfected the art of lazy eating. Yes. <laughs> He's like totally on his side, laying there and just eating veggies. Isn't that fun? Isn't it fun just to watch them? Like, you, you I love here, watching pigs. And you see them laying and... I so believe in deep bedding because you can destroy your soil if you don't use caution with pigs. Yeah. Yeah. Like in open in open ground when it's wet. For sure. Doing deep bedding in your garden is like to me the whole next level. This has been a cool day of just hanging out, honestly. It's been really low key. Yeah. It's been super fun. I don't know, baby. <laughs> we had like a complete success with our cabbage this year. Really? It's mostly still in the garden, but we covered it with um, row cover. And kept that stayed on until the plants were like this big. I've sprayed twice with BT since then. Now we're headed up a mountain, a mountain that Bree and I have a little story that we'll tell you. We may have mentioned it before. We'll tell you here in a little bit. Cool story about this mountain. We have some history. <laughs> we passed everyone! <laughs> Your lens cap was on for the last shot. That was the motivation to get the kids in the car. I said, we, we have to, we're gonna race with these people from the mountain. We're not really having an automobile race on a public road. Almost six years ago, I was 10 days overdue with Justice, and or nine days overdue with Justice, and I wanted to have a baby. And so Arthur and I, I said, Arthur, we need to go on a hike. So we hiked up to the top of this mountain with friends and we brought hot chocolate because it gets chilly up here even in the summer and just a few hours later after coming back down and putting the rest of the kids to bed a few hours later i went into labor like take me back to the mountain <laughs> take me up the mountain We're i just gonna, wanted i didn't want my labor to stop done. that was 10 days overdue let's do it and he was born hey a few hours later we won the race can i get through the cattle gate
break. We're just moving down to the tree line because there's this huge lightning storm hoping it's gonna move off. I've always loved this mountain top. This, this mountain is just gorgeous silver pasture. The edges, the top is completely bare and then the edges are almost completely hickory trees and then grass under them and the cows graze up here. It's one of my favorite places around. I've been up here many times. Oh, you're funny. You think that's funny, don't you? But it's so cool to come up here with a bunch of people who've never been here. We're just waiting for this storm. Ho hopefully the storm's gonna pass and we go up on top. It's starting to rain now for real, so we'll see. Come on guys, let's go. And lightning too. Tons of fireworks and too much lightning. It's kind of unfortunate we're having to leave, but I think it's the best decision. It's clear out this way. The fireworks are going to be down here. There's this huge storm coming towards us with a ton of lightning in it right here. And it's moving in. It's starting to rain. It's been a fun adventure. Thanks folks for joining us. We'll see you really soon in another video. Goodbye! <laughs>